you may know as of today, and I say as of today at this hour, uh, we have 33 confirmed positive tests for the virus. Yesterday we had 22 cases. Today we have 33 cases, so it has gone up by 11. Uh, uh, that brings, those are 11 new cases. Uh, 22 goes to 33. As we sort through this here uh, in Arkansas, uh, today uh, I, we have 33 confirmed positive cases in Arkansas. Uh, as of today, we have 33 confirmed cases uh, with Boston residents. We expect those numbers to climb. As of th this afternoon, we have 33 Pennsylvanians who have tested positive for COVID-19. Um, so as of this morning, there were 33 confirmed uh, cases in North Carolina. Good evening to you. Lots to get to tonight. I'm Leon Hendricks. We want to start with new information into our newsroom. Within the past couple of hours, there are now 33 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Michigan. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the news at six. I'm Richard Gearhart. Karina Corral has the night off. More cases of the coronavirus were confirmed today in San Luis Obispo County, bringing the total number now to 33. Right now, Georgia is reporting a total of 99 cases in 19 counties. That is 33 new cases from just yesterday. Good afternoon, I'm Karen Swenson. More cases and more events affected. Here is the latest coronavirus news. There are now 33 cases in Louisiana. As expected. As expected. The number of cases of COVID-19 jumps. A total of 33 people in our state have been tested and are confirmed to have the coronavirus. Day four of the shelter at home order brought six new confirmed cases of the coronavirus to San Luis Obispo County, bringing the total number to 33. All troopers will be professional, polite, and will treat everyone with dignity and respect. These latest steps as the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Rhode Island jumps by 33 overnight. We have some stunning new numbers to share with you of new unemployment claims just made in the past week, Sagar. Yeah, that's right. So the unemployment claims just broke from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. 3.3 million unemployment claims just in the last week. Worst trading day in 33 years. And uh, that brings the total uh, right now actually to 33 deaths that we're aware of, sadly. Michael, the number of cases in Australia is steadily growing now across the country. The number of cases has tonight risen to 33. We start with the novel coronavirus uh, situation in Korea and it continues to spread. More than 500 new cases have been confirmed since Tuesday. This brings the total number of confirmed patients in the country to over 5,300. And four more deaths reported overnight. The death toll now stands at at least 33. 33. 33. 33. The Ministry of Public Health has confirmed a batch of 33 new COVID-19 patients. Thailand now has an accumulated number of cases. Telangana lo coronavirus baadna padi vari sankhya 33 peri. Enna kottaga 6 cases namo dayai. Indilo okaru Karim Nagar ku chendina 23 ella vidyarthi. The Ministry of Public Health has reported that the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Thailand remains at 33. Ten new confirmed cases have been uh, reported in Malaysia, bringing the total now to 93. Health Director General Datuk Dr. Noor Hisham Abdullah said they were first and second generation close contacts of case 33. Patients 21 to 24 announced yesterday evening. March 9, 2020. This brings the total number of confirmed cases in the country to 33. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergere also confirms the death toll reaches 33. A total of 33 cases were reported. Pagdating pa ng mga pasyente ng COVID-19. Sa ngayon, ang PGH ay mayroong halos isang daang under investigation dahil sa COVID-19. Egypt has announced a thirty three new cases of the coronavirus bringing the national total to nearly 50. The total number of coronavirus cases in India has climbed to 33 and the number of active cases has gone up. Dono Marie, it least say Bharat, I hear you say, but it's a very good thing.
रखवान रही चाइना से शुरू होने वाला कोरोना वायरस सब दुनिया के 33 कंट्रीज में 33 कंट्रीज में रूट इट्स लूट का खोड़ता रहे वो डॉक्टर That's right some serious numbers the deaths right now globally over 33000 Spain and Italy are the two countries that are bearing that burden over 33000 The latest measles case reported in Ocean County with exposure somewhere between October 13th and October 21st but 33 confirmed cases in Rockland with more suspected cases being followed health officials in Rockland County say the number of people infected with measles has more than doubled in the last few days there are now 33 confirmed cases The Department of Health has reported 10 new cases of Zika virus bringing the total number of cases to 33 33 and this is this is true there cholera There's nothing that presents like these people have seen, and we've seen 33 of them. 33 of them, and we can't be wrong. And we can't be wrong. And all of them cannot be wrong. It's not simple gastroenteritis. There's no point as a doctor even contemplating that this is simple food poisoning. If you're a serious doctor. The 33 people admitted in various hospitals tested positive for the infection through a rapid test, including a foreigner from the United Kingdom. A rapid diagnostic test is not always conclusive. A rapid diagnostic test is not always conclusive. And um, we've also decided our original plan uh, was to start a nationwide uh, vaccination against yellow fever. We are going to bring that forward to December because of what is currently ongoing. Um, we quite recognize the fact that um, we have a large number of Nigerians who are on immune, sorry, who are not immune to yellow fever. and so we we want to do a nationwide vaccination against yellow fever and uh, we have recorded 33 suspected 33 suspected i'm going to say suspected cases in all the case for measles doesn't appear to be getting any better according to reuters the outbreak caused measles cases in the us to reach 1077 with 33 new cases reported 33 new cases reported last week That's the worst outbreak since 1992. The World Health Organization is finding an increase in the number of cases worldwide, seeing an increase of nearly 300% from last year. The CDC states the virus can spread when people within a community remain unvaccinated. It arrived in the United States after contracting the virus abroad. Now the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now if we do a really great job on new vaccines, healthcare, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15%. Now if we do a really great job on new vaccines, healthcare, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15%. people who want sort of county by county or say you know well, let's get back online faster say well look in some states there's less than 200 cases in many states there there's less than than 200 cases right now you're saying even in those states uh the same kind of shutdown needs to occur well let's say you have 100 cases and let's say you don't do a shutdown then it grows 33% per day to a shutdown Then it grows 33% per day. 33% per day.
Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder.